So people, I can finally answer the question of what happens if you breed two shiny beasts? Today we'll get into it all. So shiny beasts within Hogwarts Legacy are the rarest, are the rarest beasts. Now as you guys know, there are plenty of beasts you can go out and tame and bring back to your vivarium like the Hippogriff, Festrals, Neasles, I mean you name it guys, there's a ton of them. But did you know there's actually ultra rare variants of these said same beasts? They are known as shinies and when you see them guys, or when you find them out in the wild, they will have stars next to their name. I've got one right here, this Niffler, you can see that star next to his name. Now, there's nothing different in regards to selling them. I mean, I know they're a nice white colour, or sometimes I think they're like a yellowy colour. But other than that, we don't know what they do. Like I said, you can't sell them for any more than what you can sell any other beast. So I always thought, there's got to be something in regards to breeding them. If you breed two of them, if you're lucky enough to find a male and a female, and you breed them, maybe, guys, you get something for it. Well, either way, today we find out together. But now I have your attention people, if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so guys, I was lucky enough, now you ain't going to believe this, I was lucky enough to find a male and female Niffler together within the same den at the same time, both shiny variants. Like what? Like really? What is going on here? Now, today we find out. Do you get something? Is there something special about breeding them? I have no idea. So, yeah, what's that? So, oh, I need to get rid of one of my beasts out of my vivarium so I can breed a little baby. That's fine. That makes sense. So let me take rid of... I'll get rid of you for the minute. Move you to my inventory. Don't worry. I'll look after you. But yeah, I'm super, super curious to see what happens here. Now, the two Nifflers I got here are both the shiny variants. So, yeah. How long for this? Is it going to be? It's 30 minutes. That's cool. We'll cut the video and I'll come back just before the baby is born. But yeah, I have a couple. Actually, I have a couple more variants. Now, this is the Niffler egg. I've got a puff skin, shiny. I think I, you know, I had a festival at the time. Where I didn't even realize what shinies were and I sold them 120. I sold it for 120 paper. But yeah, these two right here are the breeding pair right now. Uh, so I'm curious to see what happens with the baby. Is there anything special about the baby? Uh, do we, can we sell it for more? Can we find better materials from it? Do we get more materials from it? I just don't know, but hopefully today, guys, we will find out. So what I'll do is I'll cut the video right here and I'll come back to when this baby's almost born and we'll see, guys. We will see. So guys, we have a minute and odd to go until this Nifla is Billy Bond, mommy's still asleep. What did I say there? 17 minutes? What? What was that? I don't, oh no, it's to, it's to farm materials from I was like, what? <laughs> now from a normal Niffler, which I have right there, you only get three of its materials from it. So I don't know if this is going to give you more. It's going to come out a different color. Can we sell it for more? The baby? Is there anything to it? I'm not sure, guys. I am not sure. And we have 30 odd seconds to find out. I'm hoping there's got to be something special about breeding two shinies. I mean, shinies are pretty to look at. They're all white. But is that all they offer? I mean, because you can get white variants like you can see this hippogriff right here. So we'll see. Okay, 20 seconds, people. The moment of truth. 20 seconds, people. I can't wait. I hope it comes out like a bright pink or a yellow, a luminous, glow in the dark like. Two seconds. What we're going to see. Well, there's the baby. That <laughs> is cute as heck. The baby's a shiny. So that makes sense. The baby's like a nice. Mommy don't look that white no more. The baby's a nice white. That is cute as heck. So I wonder. What do you want? What do you want, mama? There you go. Have a scratch on the belly. I can't even get rid of this. Collect fur off that one. 
So as you can see, only the shiny still only give three as well. The shiny don't do anything different. Hello, little fella. <laughs> I mean, I might have to feed it first. Let's have a look. Stroke you a bit more. Well, thingy stands on you. Go on, go buy the food. Go buy the food and eat. Go on, little dude. I mean, there's, I don't think there's anything to it. I think it, you literally, guys, just get uh, just the same thing, just to get a shiny uh, baby. I literally think that's it. Yeah, you still only get free fur. Well, there you go, guys. That is what you get. <laughs> it's cute, though. <laughs> I mean, if you want a, like, a... A variety of uh, shinies. I mean, just catch them and breed them. But in regards, I don't think there's anything special in regards to breeding a baby, unless there's something here I'm missing. Materials are the same, colors the same. That's it. That is it, guys. And there we have it. There's the answer to our question. Do you get anything for breeding two shiny beasts? The answer is nothing but a shiny baby. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. Oh, shit. Sorry, babies. Hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.